Hello everyone and welcome to another Buy Request Friday. This week's episode is... My new request is for a Minecraft, Minecraft Redstone Randomizer. Give a circuit a series of outputs and have it pick one at random. I've seen a couple of ways this has been done. And this was by Dead On. Now I have a couple of really good ideas and so I've got three different, completely different types of random generators. Now it's must be noted that it's really hard to make a purely redstone random generator because electronics by nature is never random. Um, so even this design here which most people have seen it's a cactus when a block is placed next to a cactus like this uh, it'll spit off a piece of cactus and it will fall to the ground randomly. Whoops. So I use this I call it a single use because cactus they take a long time to grow and I figure the best time to use this would be uh, you want a random number you want it now and you're not going to need to use it again unless you like come back five minutes later but it's really hard to control uh, when somebody would do that so I figure you go up to a door you press a button we have a piston that comes out now this actually has three states uh, one I've got three, uh, two redstone wires here. These two plus a third, which is none of these two. So right now it looks like it's the third because the cactus fell on itself and it actually destroyed itself. So we'll try that again and see if we can actually get it to land on one of the pressure plates. And now we have it landing on the side, so now it's this state. And we'll try it again. The reason I use this method because it pushes out a block and then pulls it away. It pulls it away fast enough so that it can actually, oh I should actually put a cactus on top. It pulls it away fast enough um, that it can have a cactus fall behind it back here as well. Uh, and I've seen a few methods that don't allow that. But anyway, that's a cactus one. It's, uh, it does work, but you can only do one every five minutes. Uh, or however long it takes for cactus to, to grow, which can take a really long time. Which brings me to my next one. This one is a purely redstone uh, one. And the way it works is it actually has a clock generator here, uh, which I started previously. And this clock, uh, each of the outputs except for one, this one here, and that's basically because I don't want to hook them all up. Um, they're all hooked up to an AND gate. Now we've got three AND gates here with the RS null latches uh, on the other side. Now I've got a button here. When you press this button, it's going to send a single pulse uh, to all of these AND gates at the same time. Now it should be short enough that it will only trigger one of the AND gates. Uh, that's why this clock is fairly slow. Now all of this stuff is going to be hidden, so when you press that button, you're not going to know which one it's going to trigger and therefore it will be random to the player. Obviously it won't be random because if you press it at the same time every time uh, it's going to trigger the same one. However, the player is not going to know that um, and you know, we'll, we'll try it out now. So we'll press the button and it looks like we got the middle one this time. This one right here and you can actually make a game of it. Try to if you do want to show all the redstone, uh, see if you can light up all of them. I got the end one over there and I'm still missing that one. Uh, like there. No. It's harder than it looks. Uh, go. Yay! So I won. I lit up all the all the lights. Uh, this is obviously just a quick, um, a quick and dirty sort of a monostable circuit it shortens the button pulse because if the button pulse is too long it will just trigger all of them um, this is a, it's kinda messy but it does work and certainly if you want to actually that's kind of a cool game I should make a separate a separate video on a game like this anyway I digress uh, now I do have a one more uh, option, but I do need you to close your eyes because I don't want you to see me setting it up. Okay. Are your eyes closed? Excellent. 
Okay, you can open him again. Now, what I have here is what I believe to be one of the most random uh, generators here. Now, you can see it not only uh, turns the redstone off, but will also randomly pick one, or some, or even all, or none, uh, for an extended or a short period of time. This is this is as random as it gets. Uh, it still uses in-game mechanics, and it's not very complicated. And I will show you what that is. Ta-da! Meet my uh, <laughs> meet my helper. His name's Barry. And uh, yeah, <laughs> he basically jumps around on the buttons and randomly chooses buttons to stand on. Now nothing's connected to the middle one that's why it can be off sometimes also because he's jumping around um, that can also cause the pulses to be off but I I don't see it getting much more random than this. Now you may think well that's not really useful at all what the hell the sheep is just gonna despawn however in Adventure Update 1.8 uh, Notch has said that animals will be more persistent if not completely persistent so you could totally use a sheep in your electronics kinda running a, a hamster wheel type thing but on on pl pressure plates instead anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can certainly make something random leave a comment below for your request for next week and I'll see what I can do to make it become a reality so thanks for watching and see you next week bye